Black River, Michigan, located in the northeast corner of Alcona County. Home to the Black River, the only river that lies entirely within the county and reaches the shore of Lake Huron. This river is home to the only known population of coaster brook trout in the lower peninsula of Michigan. Will the sediment problems at the mouth of the river affect this isolated population of fish, no one seems to know. Historically this river has been used for logging and commercial fishing. The fishing developed after logging disappeared, due to the close proximity offshore of a world-class fishing habitat. The river also provides access to historic shipwrecks that are scattered along the shoreline of this area. The shipwrecks are visited by boaters, kayakers, and divers when the lake is accessible. Siltation at the mouth of the river has been a problem and early pioneers of the fishing industry constructed a jetty to combat the problem. The historic jetty has since subsided into the sands, no longer providing protection to the mouth of the river. Lake Huron's shallow rocky reefs are an ever-present danger to Great Lakes boating. In the unforgiving boulder-strewn waters off Black River, several ships met their end. The reefs to the north and south of the river mouth are a constant danger to boaters unfamiliar with the area. The restriction at the mouth of the river no longer provides a safe haven for boaters that encounter trouble out on the waters of Lake Huron. With this constantly recurring situation at the mouth, local search and rescue teams have almost no ability to access the lake if there is an accident offshore. In the mid-2000s, changes took place along the shoreline. This, as well as rising water levels, increased sediment movement causing the river mouth to become inundated with sediment. Boater access was no longer viable as it was in the 1990s and early 2000s, a time when there were waiting lines to launch and load boats. The boat launch has now become all but abandoned. Dredging had been done in the early days annually by a local excavating company. A roadway was constructed from the dredged sand so that excavating equipment could be taken farther out into the lake. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources has since taken over dredging responsibility. Due to changes in the shoreline, the dredging has become a multiple-time-a-year operation. After a study was done in 2022 by GEI Engineering, a dual jetty system was recommended to improve the access to the lake, as well as limiting the amount of dredging that would need to be done. In 2023, the Alcona Township Board formed the Black River Waterways Committee to pursue and achieve the construction of a dual jetty system as recommended by GEI Engineering. A dual jetty would look something like the ones constructed in Oscoda 30 miles to the south, protecting the mouth of the Orsabal River. Another type of jetty construction could be similar to the one in Pentwater, Michigan, providing a walkway out into the lake. This would also allow handicapped access to fishing. The next slide is an excerpt of the television show Michigan Out of Doors on PBS just fantastic fisheries and those are inland fisheries uh, but we also have you know really good access in most places to the big lake like lake huron um, you know and we fish that um, you know the eastern side of, of north northern michigan and we have a great fishery for wall everything from walleye to salmon steelhead lake trout uh, smallmouth bass so we also have uh, access to the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary, which has a, a ton of shipwrecks. So we have, it's, it's not all about, you know, access to fishing. So we have, you know, a lot of recreational users, that, whether it's kayakers, canoers, divers, um, and that's very, very popular in this area. And we have, um, and what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to take a look at uh, the launching facility out of Black River for, and, and that's for a reason. So um, we have, we have good access in, in Harrisville, Oscoda, Tawas, Alpena, but we, we, we've got a, about a 30 mile gap on, on the shoreline of Lake Huron where there's, there's not a reliable public access that, that is a harbor for, a safe harbor for boats. So throughout the year um, that, that may exist. And what happens is, is, is the, the currents, the longshore currents that, that occur throughout the, the seasons um, will actually fill the mouth of the Black River and with, with sand. When the lake levels dropped in the late 90s and early 2000s, there was some permitting given to um, residents along the shoreline. 
and to, to move rock. And um, the belief is what happened is that moving that rock created um, a situation where those longshore currents uh, started to move that sedimentation into the river mouth at a, at a much more rapid rate. And so basically since you know the early 2000s, um, that, that river's had to be dredged on a very, very regular basis to keep it open. The DNR uh, dredges that on a, on a fairly regular basis, uh, and that's a whole other and whole other issue. So those the dredging events, whenever they have a dredging event, you're, they're looking at, at spending you know between 20 to 27 thousand dollars per dredging event uh, in Black River, and that happens multiple times a year. So it's not only, and that's on the taxpayer's dime, right? And we're the taxpayers. So w what we're trying to do is, is raise an awareness of this resource that we have, this great resource in Black River, you know, whether, whether you're a, a diver, a fisherman, a canoers, kayakers, or, you know, or you're just visiting, you know, just visiting Black River, uh, you know, to, to give us an awareness of, of what we actually have here and, and try and, and keep that site uh, as a viable resource so, so that people are using it. Um, you know, it's a it's a tremendous a tremendous asset to, to our area to Northeast Michigan, and we want to make sure that it's, that it's being used by the by the public, and, and we all have access to that. The mouth of the Black River can fill in within a day or two, and if it goes for any length of time without being dredged, it can have a huge impact on the access for steelhead, chinook, and coho salmon, and other trout species who use this river as their spawning grounds. Ultimately, experts have determined that the best permanent solution here is the installation of a set of jetties or piers at the mouth of the river, which is a huge expense. Sportsmen and women can make a big difference on issues like these by contacting their state representatives and making their voices heard. Together, we can help protect and preserve our natural resources right here in Michigan's Out of Doors. In 2023, State Representatives Tim Beeson and Greg Alexander stopped by to look at the situation at the Black River. They were on their way to meet with State Representative Cam Cavett to discuss the best way to remedy the current situation. With your help and support, we can restore the Black River back into an important access point to Lake Huron. Providing opportunities for diving, fishing, safety, recreation and preservation for generations to come. The Black River Waterways Committee, in conjunction with the Alcona Township Board would like to ask for your support with this project. Please contact your state representatives. Explain that you are aware of the need for the construction of the jetties and would like to see the projects completed. It is vital that we restore a beautiful and functioning Michigan River. The following QR codes will link you to the contact information for the following people. Pause the video if needed. This video is for educational purposes only. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.